Hey guys, what's going on? So you got some company today with me. He insisted on coming out. Just ride. Well, he didn't even know I was going to ride the four wheeler, but he wanted to come with me. So uh, apologize if there's any wind noise. Uh, my microphone is dead. Thought they were charged, but they're not. So anyways. So I know we're getting closer to spring. We're getting closer to um, spring planting, closer to starting to use some burn downs on different things. And I'm sure also some pre-emerge, pre-emerge pre chemicals. Um, and so, as you know, we have the, the network that I have, I guess you could say I became a part of. Um, I'm definitely just a small cog uh, that doesn't know doesn't know a whole hell of a lot. I'm still learning. Can you say hi? No? Um, but, uh, so we have lots of different products to offer, but, uh, right now I want to talk about two because it's super simple to talk about these two. I can talk about it in a short video and I'll try to keep this relatively short. So first product that I wanted to highlight is, um, a fulvic acid. We, fulvic, not a fulvic, but a fulvic acid product but it's fulvic acid wind bio gold hopefully they'll i'll get a picture up right here um and so fulvic acid what fulvic acid does so how the guys that i'm working together with on all this stuff um they're use guys are using it in their starter uh with their fertilizer mixing with our other fertilizer they're using it at top dress with their regular fertilizer as as long as it's like a, a liquid application, of course. They're throwing it in with their burn down. Uh, they're throwing it in any trip they put across the field, they go across the field with. They're throwing in fulvic acid. And what fulvic acid does is it makes the plant 30% more efficient at uptake essentially is a bit is the most simple terms that i could put it in that i understand and that makes sense to me and for you to understand so when you're putting out those uh nutrients say if you're top dressing wheat right now which like i said we've probably missed the window for a lot of guys on wheat but if you're gonna go back with another um application of nutrients if we start getting some rain and, it, and you think we're you got the potential for more um seriously consider using some fulvic acid with it because it's going to make everything you do just work that much better and so much more efficient. You're going to get more bang for your buck. And it does not cost a whole lot of money to do. And like I said, it mixes well with your other products um, on your herbicides. Why guys are using it is because it makes them more effective. Again, it helps with that uptake of the herbicide so it can translocate throughout the whole plant and get it killed the first time. The second product I'm going to talk about, I know there's there's all sorts of these products out on the market. Um, but the one that we deal with, the one that we're selling, I mean, that's what we're doing is we're selling. But uh, the guys that I'm working with, the reason why they sell it is because they use it. They use it because they believe it. Uh, and that is um, Holganics Bio 800, which hopefully I'll have a picture right here. And so I'm pretty sure I've done a video about the or just mentioned the Holganics before, but just to go brief over you real quick, Holganics is a very diverse 800 plus different species of microbes, uh, like three, I wanna say 300 fungi, different strands of fungi, and 500, excuse me, 500 strands of bacteria. What makes this product different than so many others is it comes with food source for the biology, um, has fulvic and humic in it, so it's a carbon, uh, carbon source. But again, it also has the molasses. Um, I think it has kelp or fish, I can't remember, in it as well. And so, how guys are using the fulvic, or excuse me, the holganics, is, well, hold on, I have an escapee. Hold that thought. Okay, I had to trick him into thinking that we're leaving. I don't know where he's going, but he's leaving. But anyway, so yes, the holganics. So how they're using it is they're using it in furrow. And the most effective way to use biological products is in furrow or on the seed, as in uh, treating seed. Now, if you're already making compost extract, that's fine and dandy. If that's what you want to do, um, 
there's nothing against that. But I would encourage you to consider putting a, some sort of food source with that compost extract. And again, another thing that makes the Holganics products different is when they're not shipping it out, they're keeping it dormant. Uh, we have to keep, you have to keep it refrigerated. When you get the product, you have, I wanna say four to six weeks to use it um, before the biology will consume itself. Um, before that, that's why, that's part of the reason why the food source is in there. But the reason why we're doing it in furrow, all right, the, or the reason why we're recommending it, you do it in furrow. And I was just listening to, um, Joe Williams driving home this week the, the, at the event that Cancel Health Alliance put on this summer, or sorry, this winter. Thank you, Cancel Health. Thank you, Cancel Health Alliance. Uh, yes. Um, when we're, yes, you are only applying, I mean, if you're, say, applying a gallon an acre, okay, let's just say that's the application rate. I'm not saying that's what the application rate is. Let's say that's what it is. But we're applying a gallon an acre over, I mean, one gallon over an entire acre. I mean, if it was a gallon of milk, how far would you get it? Just as for your thought process. You're not gonna go very far. I mean, it's it, you're looking at very small amounts. I mean, that you just are. Not to say there's no effect, but by putting it in the furrow, by putting it in with the seed, and Joel Williams, like I said, this is, I think this is, was the first I've ever heard it. So he, but he said it best and it just it clicked with me and it's like, well, that makes perfect sense. Um, we're not so much in, for, when we're putting in furrow, yes, you're gonna have some impact on the, so, on the soil microbiome, but what your big time and immediate impact is gonna be is on that plant's microbiome. You're putting the biology, the food for that biology in furrow next to the seed. So when the seed sprouts, it is gonna be and a plethora of biology, you can make those connections instantly, start sending out red exudates and doing the exchange that plants and microbes do together. That makes the synergy um, work in a way that we're just be really beginning to kind of comprehend. And I, I sure as heck don't understand it all. I just, I understand about this much of it and I understand the importance of it and uh, the, the things that we can do to try and help. So, that's what you're trying to do. That's the best way if you're looking at using a biological product, a microbes um, is in furrow with your other products that you're, whatever you're using. And like I said, you're trying to change that plant microbiome. That's what you're trying to do. Um, and we don't know what we don't know what you need. Uh, every every plant species is different. Every soil type is different. And by and even more than soil type, every field is different because of past history. So. Um, that's that's part of the reason why it's such a diverse array of microbes is because soybeans are going to form different relationships with different microbes and corn is going to form different relationships with different microbes and, or weed or milo or whatever. And so it's super diverse and hopefully one of those, handful of those species that your plants, whatever you're planting or what your soil is lacking or what can host, uh, thrive and reproduce in your soil, you get your soil kind of inoculated Oh, someone needs to go. So, I guess that's one way to keep it short, is this is my guy who's uh, controlling the time. But uh, yeah, any questions on either one of those products, get a hold of me on whichever platform this is on, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, whatever it is, um, we'll exchange numbers if you're in the North Central Kansas area um, and see what we can do for you. Ask any questions, I'll get you kind of application rates, prices, like that, stuff like that, see if you're interested. Um, but yeah, we can start off with those two relatively simple products, simple, easy to understand, and uh, they can have immediate impacts on your operation and hopefully an immediate positive impact on your pocketbook. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, leave a question, leave a comment as always. See you next time.